welcome back to program with, that's right, Miss Arissa from Malvern Family Resource Center. It's so nice to see you here. Let's get right into it. Let's start with saying hello. That's right. So get both hands waving back and forth and follow after me. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Come on everybody and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Come on everybody and clap your hands. How are you today? Come on everybody, let's roll our arms, roll our arms, roll our arms. Come on everybody and roll your arms. How are you today? And for the last one, we have to shout something. What do we like to shout to get excited? That's right, we have to shout hooray. Can you do that for me? Wow, that was really loud. Come on everybody and shout hooray, shout hooray, shout Hooray! Come on, everybody, and shout. That's right. Hooray! How are you today? Awesome! So today, we are going to start program with learning about colors. Do you have a favorite color? Oh, I like that color too, but you know what? My favorite color is blue. Just like this. Here's the color blue. Can you help me actually? Can you find something at home that's the color blue? Yes, okay. Go, go find something blue. I will count to 10 and at 10, come right back to Miss Arista. All right, go find something blue. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, my friends, ten seconds is all done. What did you find that's blue? Oh, those are very different items. I've never seen some of those before. What I found that's blue are these two cups of hot chocolate. Do you like hot chocolate? Yeah? <laughs> All right, let's play a game. This game is to help you calm down and relax your body when you're feeling angry. Or maybe when you're feeling sad. And how we play this game is we pretend we're holding a cup of hot chocolate. Can you pretend and hold a cup of hot chocolate just like Miss Arissa? That's right, just like this. You can hold your hands together if that makes you feel better or you can cup them like this. But pretend you're holding a nice warm cup of hot chocolate to warm you up on a winter day. Great job. So this activity, remember when you're feeling mad or sad or even scared, you can do this activity all by yourself to make you feel better. Are you ready? So our hot chocolate is really hot. Oh, that's too hot. It's gonna hurt my mouth. So what we need to do is Cool it down by blowing on it. Can you follow after me? Can you blow on the hot chocolate? Very nice. Another action we have to learn is smelling the hot chocolate and the marshmallows in the hot chocolate. Mm, did you smell them? Amazing. So, Follow after Miss Arisa.
this. So we're going to start off with smelling the hot chocolate. And then blowing on it to cool it down. Nice job. Let's do it two, two more times. Are you ready? Smell the marshmallow and the hot chocolate. And blow on it to cool it down. more time. Smell your hot chocolate. And blow on it to cool it down. And now you can pretend to drink it. <laughs> mm, do you feel a little better now? Great! Yes, my friends, so don't forget when you feel different emotions, you can use your hot chocolate activity to help feel help yourself feel better all right so let's get back to color so you found something blue that was great there are also other colors we see in the world like the color what color is this <gasps> green hmm, I wonder what color will we see next we also know there's color red do you like red <laughs> There it goes. And last but not least, there's also the color ah, yellow. Can you help Miss Arisa? What else is yellow? Can you find something at home that's yellow? But one thing I have in mind are bananas. Can all my friends stand up and let's do the go banana song together and get our bodies moving. All right, everyone, we are going to move our bodies. Can you make your body into a banana just like Miss Arissa's? Lift those arms up to a point. Yep, just like this. And we're going to peel banana, peel, peel banana, peel banana, peel, peel banana. Now chop banana, chop, chop banana, chop banana, chop, chop banana. Now mash banana, mash, mash banana. Come on, mash banana. Mash, mash, banana, and this is my favorite part. We eat banana, eat, eat banana, eat banana, eat, eat banana. Oh, those bananas make me feel like going bananas. Go, go, bananas. Go, bananas. Go, go, bananas. Free. Now that we're done going bananas, let's go back and sit down. Phew, that was so much moving around. Welcome back, my friends. Come sit down and let's get ready for our story. So we know colors come in many different forms, like the blue item that you found at home, like the yellow bananas. Colors are also in markers and crayons that we use to draw in color. And that's what our story is going to be about today. It's about the crayon box that could talk. I wonder what will happen. Well, let's get ready. Get those 10 fingers out and we'll find out. Are you ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Do a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. The Crayon Box That Talked by Shane DeRolf. Illustrated by Michael Letting. While walking in a toy store, 
The day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. Oh dear, do you see all the crayons? There's green, yellow, red, blue, brown, and purple. Do you think they're happy or do you think they're mad? Yeah, they're really mad with each other. Let's find out why. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said Blue to all the others. Something here is wrong. Oh dear, why do you think the crayons don't like each other? Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me and laid out all the colors so the crayons could all see. What do you think the crayons will see? Me, as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and every color in between. What's your favorite color to draw with? They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. Hello, Mr. Sun. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched till I was through. Look at all those different crayons. What shapes do you see on the page? And when I'd finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. I do like red, said yellow. And green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. We are a box of crayons. Each one of us is unique. But when we get together, the picture is complete. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, my friends. And please don't forget, no matter how you look, whether you're bubblegum pink, chocolate brown, sandy colored, almond colored, red, purple, green. Everyone is different in their own unique way. And without you, we wouldn't be complete. Just like the crayons, we use and see colors everywhere in our everyday life. And can you help me? Where else might we see colors when we're walking outside? traffic light and what colors do you see on the traffic light i'll point to them and can you say them really loud for me what color is this yeah that's red what color is this one in the middle that's right that's yellow and the last color is light is a light off a street that cars follow and that people who need to cross the street follow too. Can you help me again? What does each color mean? I'll give you a hint. Green means go! What does yellow mean? That's right. Yellow means you move slowly or you slow down. And red means that's 
That's right. Red means you stop. Great job, everyone. So the reason why I brought out the traffic light is so we can talk about a special African-American named Garrett Morgan. Here you go, my friends. This is a picture of Garrett Morgan. He's the man who invented the traffic light. Now, the traffic light used to only have red and green, but he added the color yellow. Do you remember what yellow means? That's right. Yellow means slow down. Mr. Morgan was born 142 years ago. That's way before your grandma and grandpa were born. During this time, people were very unkind and unfair to him because he had dark skin. And that, my friends, is what we call racism. So whenever you treat someone differently who doesn't look like you or who doesn't do the things that you do, that is racism and racism is not nice we don't want to do racism and be mean we always want to treat others around us with love and kindness just like garrett morgan we are going to make our own traffic lights so let's put our listening ears and see what materials we need before we start our craft draw the circles on our traffic light. So get your circle and a marker and just trace around the circle. And we have to do this three times. One, two, and Is the fun part. We get to fill each circle in. So parents, if all you have are markers or crayons or pencil crayons, that's okay. Instead of black paper, find a white piece of paper that you can use for your child to color on and see the colors. But today we're using the color black because Miss Arissa has loose pieces that she would like to use on the traffic light. So all we gotta do is put glue in the circle. And we'll do it circle by circle. And what I love about using paper is that children, we can rip it. And ripping the paper strengthens our finger muscles so we have more control when we start writing. And we can rip big pieces, small pieces, whatever you like. Okay, so we're filling in the red. And red means stop. is green. If red means stop, green means go. So let's put the circle in. Let's put the glue in the circle, I mean. <laughs> and for this one, I have lots of shapes. Can you tell me what shape is this? It's 
right, it's a heart, a green heart. So I have a big heart, I have a medium heart, I also have a small heart. So stick all those in. I also have other shapes here. What shape is this? This shape has four sides. One, two, three, four. What shape has four equal sides? That's right, a square. So we have dark green squares and light green squares. We're gonna stick them all there too. Perfect. So for our traffic light, we have red, we have green. Green means go, red means stop. But can you help remind me what color goes in the middle? That's right, yellow. And I don't have any yellow pieces, so I wanted to show my friends how they can color yellow, especially if they're using white to make a white traffic light. So Miss Larissa just cut a circle out a white paper from scrap white paper. And I'm gonna get my yellow marker. I'm just gonna color it. So now we have a yellow light. Now that our traffic light is all done, let's Pick them up and get ready for a song and dance. All right, my friends. So now that we have our traffic light ready, let's get ready to move our bodies again to the song Twinkle, Twinkle, Traffic Light. If you'd like, you can hold the traffic light that you made or you can put it down and just follow where Miss Arissa points. Can you just help me? What does each color mean again? Red means? Stop, that's right. Yellow means slow down. And green means? Go! <laughs> All right, follow my actions. You can start with stomping your legs and flashing the lights by blinking your fingers. Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light. Round the corner, shining bright. Red means stop, freeze. And green means go. Yellow means move very slow. Are you moving slow? Whoa. Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light. Round the corner, shining bright. Awesome job, my friends. Let's play again. Twinkle, Get ready. Twinkle, traffic light. Round the corner, shining bright. Green means go. Go, 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 go. Twinkle, twinkle, 
traffic lights round the corner shining bright all right my friends so i hope you had fun with miss arissa today and remember even though someone might look different than you have a different skin color have different eye shape have a different hair color no matter how they look it's always important to treat others with kindness and love. All right, and with that, let's sing our goodbye song and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Clap your hands. We had a happy day. We had a happy day. Hi, oh, this I know. We had a happy day. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Just a kind reminder, parents, please use my email on the screen. Yes, I am here to teach your child, but I'm also here to help support you. So if you have any questions about child development, any questions or need help finding resource in the community, I am a person that you can reach out to. So send me a message. We'll schedule a phone or Zoom meeting and we'll connect.